Right everyone, Matt Fletcher here. Right, today I'm going to try and fix this Slavia 624 air rifle. So it's very old, it's older than me, possibly from the 60s I think. But this has got no power now. Uh, some of the bits are homemade. You know, well not homemade, but you know, not the original parts. So what I think I'm going to do, take the whole thing apart. The stock and the actual metal is alright, because I've already redone that. But it needs... I'm going to check the seal, I need to replace this bolt, and I need to check the actual piston seal as well, because there's no power coming out of this. Uh, and also the string, the spring for the um, trigger. This is a very dangerous gun, I actually, at the age of about 10, received 7 stitches in my hand, just there, when this gun actually shut back on my um, fingers, on my hand, just there cut all that open uh, so yeah you have to be very careful shooting this I would never give this to anyone or let them shoot it um, you have to be very careful you have to hold the barrel down so anyway I'll take it apart and let's try and work out see what's wrong with it get some power back into it so I can use it in the shooting competition right I've got the gun apart it looks like the nut sorry the bolt that goes through the receiver part is no good anymore that needs replacing I may need to do the seal I have just tested this with a different bolt though and it actually fires all right so I'm not going to need to open this up to do the spring I'm going to put a bit of this gun grease in where the spring is that should help that seals it's the seal is all right in there so what I need to do is I'm probably going to need to reshape this nut so I'm going to need to shape this like this as best as I can uh, and do the spring for the trigger to make that safe. Right, that should do for at least that head. It's not going to be perfect, but I've tapered it so that it will at least push into the gap because it's sort of stepped in the receiver. This should help though. So, what I need to do now is cut it to length, round over the edge of the thread. If you ever do this, put the nut on first, then cut it off, and then take the bolt, take the nut off, and it makes the thread easier to get the nut on again afterwards uh, and then I need to shape the nut which will just be the same as what I've just done with the head there I'm not sure how well you'll see this but that's the the nut now so the nut is now round and tapered and has a slot in it so now these two should replicate what was there originally a lot better than uh, what did I have that and a nut I've actually measured the thickness of some calipers of this and this and they're less than 0 0.1 of a millimetre difference maybe it was 0 0.01 so they're very very close so it should be it should work well so I may just taper this bit a little bit more um, and then I can start working on the spring for the trigger So in the trigger here, behind here, there's a hole here, but it's been punched out. Originally it's punched out to make a flap to hold the, the spring, but it's broken. So I'm going to put a screw through, a little screw, so that the 
end of the screw can go into this spring. I'm going to double it up to make it extra powerful. Uh, we'll see how that works. So we'll see how this goes. I may just put a bit of tape just here or something, piece of string or something, just to hold that down. But that should work, I think. I'll always be careful with this anyway. I'll never ever shoot this without holding the barrel down and pushing the trigger manually forward anyway. But let's see how that goes. Right, still doesn't catch for some reason, but that's all right with me because I know it. This is why I'd never let anyone else shoot this gun, but because I know that you have to push the trigger forward, it's probably safe for me. But since I've done this new breech bolt, or whatever you'd call it, the power has come back. It must have been that the bolt wasn't making the seal properly. So, um, yeah, this will be better shoot now. So I'll give it a little shoot and a little practice and sight it in, see how we go. Before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.